How often do you find yourself overwhelmed by life's worries? Have you ever felt like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and you're unsure how to carry on? You're not alone. We all face moments of doubt and anxiety. But there's good news. God is always at work, even when we can't see it. Let's anchor our message today in two powerful scriptures that illuminate God's promises and His constant work in our lives. First, Philippians 4 verses 6-7 to says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This passage reassures us that we don't need to carry our burdens alone. Instead of letting worry consume us, we are invited to bring everything to God through prayer. When you pray, you are not just talking to the air. You are conversing with a loving Father who listens and cares deeply for you. When you thank God in advance for His answers, you open your heart to His peace, a peace that goes beyond human understanding. This peace will protect your heart and mind from the storms of anxiety. Second, Romans 8 verse 28 tells us, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. This verse is a powerful reminder that God is always working for your good. Even when situations seem bleak, God is orchestrating everything for a greater purpose. Think about a time when something in your life didn't go as planned. Perhaps it was a lost job, a failed relationship, or an unexpected health issue. Later, you may have seen how these challenges led to new opportunities, stronger relationships, or personal growth. This is God's promise in action. He takes every circumstance and turns it into something beneficial for those who love Him. To deepen our understanding, let's consider some examples from the Bible. Number 1. Joseph's Journey In the Old Testament, Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers and unjustly imprisoned. Despite these hardships, Joseph remained faithful to God. Eventually, he rose to a position of power in Egypt and was able to save his family from famine. What seemed like a series of unfortunate events was actually God's plan to fulfill his promise. Genesis 50 verse 20 Number 2. Moses' Leadership Moses felt inadequate and fearful when God called him to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Yet, God equipped him and performed miracles through him. Moses' story shows us that God's plans often exceed our expectations and abilities. Exodus 3 through 4. Number 3. Paul's Mission. Paul faced numerous trials, including imprisonment, shipwrecks, and persecution. However, his hardships enabled him to spread the gospel far and wide. His letters, written during these times, continue to inspire and guide Christians today. 2 Corinthians 11 verses 23-28 These examples underscore that God's timing and methods are perfect, even when they don't align with our understanding. Trusting in God means believing that He is always at work, shaping events in ways that we might not immediately recognize. In summary, Philippians 4 verses 6-7 and Romans 8 verse 28 provide a solid foundation for our faith. They remind us to cast our worries on God through prayer and to trust that He is working everything out for our good. Embrace these truths in your daily life and watch how God transforms your worries into unexpected blessings. Understanding God's Work God is always at work in your life, even when you don't realize it. He is orchestrating events and aligning circumstances for your good. Think of a time when something seemed to go wrong, but later, you saw how it led to a blessing. God's hand was in that situation, guiding you towards something better. Let's delve deeper into how God works. Imagine you are putting together a puzzle. You see the individual pieces, and it's hard to make sense of them. But God sees the whole picture. He knows exactly where each piece fits. When you face challenges or setbacks, 
It's like handling those difficult puzzle pieces. Trust that God is placing each piece perfectly, even if you can't see it yet. Consider Joseph from the Bible. His story is a perfect example of God at work. Joseph was sold into slavery by his own brothers and later thrown into prison for a crime he didn't commit. It seemed like everything was going wrong. But God was working behind the scenes. Each hardship Joseph faced was a step towards his destiny. In the end, Joseph rose to a position of great power and saved many people from famine, including his family. What seemed like a series of misfortunes was actually God's plan unfolding. Another example is the story of Ruth. After losing her husband, Ruth chose to stay with her mother-in-law, Naomi, and move to a foreign land. It was a difficult and uncertain time. But God was at work. Ruth met Boaz, a kind and wealthy man, who became her husband. She went from being a grieving widow to part of the lineage of Jesus Christ. God turned her sorrow into joy and her loss into a blessing. In your own life, you might not always see how God is working. It can be hard to understand why certain things happen. But remember, God is in control. He sees the end from the beginning. He promises in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This means that every moment, every event, and every challenge has a purpose in God's grand design for your life. When you face a tough situation, remind yourself that God is at work. He is setting things in place for your good. Trust that He is weaving your story into a beautiful tapestry, even if you only see a few threads now. Take comfort in knowing that God's hand is guiding you towards unexpected blessings. Trust over worry. Worry is a thief. It steals your joy and peace. But trust in God replaces worry with peace. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 encourages you to bring all your concerns to God in prayer. When you do this, His peace will guard your heart and mind. It's a peace that doesn't make sense in the natural world, but is profoundly comforting. Think about it this way. Worry is like a heavy backpack filled with rocks. Each worry is another rock weighing you down. Imagine trying to walk through life, carrying that heavy load. It slows you down, makes you tired, and drains your energy. Now, picture handing that backpack over to God. He takes the weight off your shoulders and carries it for you. Suddenly, you feel lighter, freer, and more able to enjoy life. Jesus himself addressed worry directly. In Matthew 6 verses 25 to 34, he tells us not to worry about our lives, what we will eat or drink, or about our bodies and what we will wear. He points out that if God takes care of the birds of the air and the flowers of the field, how much more will he take care of you? You are valuable to him. Worrying does not add a single hour to your life. In fact, it does the opposite. It drains your time and energy. When you choose to trust God, you are making a powerful decision. Trust shifts your focus from your problems to God's promises. It's like adjusting a camera lens. When you focus on your worries, everything else becomes blurry. But when you focus on God and His love for you, your worries start to fade into the background. Here's a practical step you can take. Start your day with a simple prayer of trust. Say, God, I trust you with my worries. I know you are in control and I believe you will take care of me. Throughout the day, whenever a worry pops up, remind yourself of this prayer. It's a way to constantly shift your focus back to God. Another helpful practice is to write down your worries. Take a piece of paper and list everything that's on your mind. Then, beside each worry, write a promise from God's Word that counters it. For example, if you are worried about your finances, Write Philippians 4 verse 19. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. This exercise helps you see God's truth alongside your worries 
reinforcing your trust in Him. Finally, remember that trust is not a one-time event, it's a daily practice. Every day, you have the opportunity to trust God a little more. And as you do, you will find that the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, truly does guard your heart and mind. Trusting God doesn't mean you will never face challenges, but it does mean you won't face them alone. God is with you, and He is greater than any worry you might have. So, let go of that heavy backpack of worries and place your trust in Him. He will carry you through. God's Timing and Surprises God's timing is perfect, even when it doesn't match yours. He is never late. Remember, Abraham and Sarah waited years for their promised child, Isaac. God's promise was fulfilled in His perfect timing. You may be waiting for something now, but trust that God's plan is unfolding, and He has unexpected blessings in store for you. Think about the story of Joseph. He was sold into slavery by his own brothers and spent years in prison for a crime he didn't commit. It seemed like everything was going wrong. But God was at work behind the scenes. In his perfect timing, Joseph was elevated to a position of great power in Egypt, and he was able to save many lives, including those of his family. What seemed like endless setbacks were actually stepping stones to his destiny. God's timing is often different from ours because he sees the bigger picture. Imagine watching a parade through a small window. You see one float at a time. But God sees the entire parade from above. He knows what's coming next and how each part fits together. Trust that He is orchestrating your life with the same precision and care. Consider the Israelites wandering in the desert. They spent 40 years in the wilderness before reaching the promised land. During that time, God was preparing them, teaching them, and building their faith. It wasn't wasted time. It was necessary for their growth and readiness to receive His promise. Similarly, the waiting period in your life is not a waste. God is using this time to prepare you for the blessings ahead. In our own lives, we often want immediate answers and quick fixes. But God's timing is about growth, patience, and trust. When we rush things, we might miss out on the depth of blessings God has in store for us. Take a moment to reflect on past situations where waiting led to a better outcome than you could have imagined. These memories remind us of God's faithfulness and perfect timing. Also, think of the surprise blessings that come when we least expect them. Like a sudden opportunity, a new relationship, or a breakthrough in a tough situation. These surprises are reminders that God's plans are greater than our own. They show us that even in the silence, God is working on something beautiful for us. Remember, God's timing requires us to have faith and patience. It's about trusting that He knows what is best for us and will bring it to pass in the right moment. When you find yourself impatient or anxious, take a deep breath and remind yourself that God is never late. He is always on time, and His timing is always perfect. In the waiting, keep your heart open to the lessons God is teaching you. Stay faithful in prayer and keep your hope alive. God's timing may surprise you, but it will always bless you beyond measure. Trust in His plan and look forward to the wonderful surprises He has in store for you. Embracing Gratitude Gratitude shifts your focus from problems to blessings. When you thank God, even in difficult times, you acknowledge His goodness. Start each day with a heart of gratitude. List the blessings you have, no matter how small. This practice will transform your perspective and open your eyes to God's ongoing work in your life. Gratitude is like a powerful lens that changes how you see the world. When you put on the lens of gratitude, you start to notice things you might have overlooked before. Maybe it's the warm sunshine on your face, the smile of a loved one, or even the simple fact that you woke up this morning. Each of these is a gift from God. Have you ever kept a gratitude journal? It's a simple but powerful tool. Every day, write down three things you're thankful for. 
They don't have to be big things. It could be the taste of your morning coffee, a kind word from a friend, or the beauty of nature around you. By focusing on these positive aspects, you train your mind to look for the good in every situation. Consider the story of the ten lepers in Luke 17 verses 11 to 19. Jesus healed all ten, but only one returned to thank him. Jesus said to that one, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Gratitude doesn't just acknowledge blessings. It deepens our relationship with God and brings additional blessings into our lives. Gratitude also has a ripple effect. When you express thankfulness, it spreads to those around you. Your positive attitude can uplift others and inspire them to look for blessings in their own lives. It's like a chain reaction of joy and thankfulness. Think about the Apostle Paul. Even when he was imprisoned, he wrote letters filled with gratitude and encouragement. In Philippians 1 verses 3 to 4, he says, I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. Paul's gratitude didn't depend on his circumstances. Instead, it was rooted in his faith and trust in God. In challenging times, it's easy to focus on what's going wrong. But by deliberately practicing gratitude, you can shift your mindset. This doesn't mean ignoring difficulties, but recognizing that even in tough times, God's blessings are present. Let's make gratitude a daily habit. When you wake up, thank God for a new day. Before you eat, thank Him for your meal. As you go to bed, reflect on the blessings of the day. This constant gratitude will build a strong foundation of faith and joy in your life. So, let's embrace gratitude wholeheartedly. It will transform your heart, brighten your days, and draw you closer to God. Remember, no matter what you're facing, there is always something to be thankful for. Real Life Testimonies Let's delve deeper into some real-life testimonies that showcase God's unexpected blessings. These stories serve as powerful reminders that God is at work even when things seem bleak. Let's look at a modern example. Think about someone who lost their job. At first, it felt like the end of the world. Bills were piling up and anxiety was high, but instead of giving up, they turned to God in prayer. During this time, they discovered a passion for a different field. They took the opportunity to retrain and found a job that not only paid better, but also brought them immense joy and fulfillment. Losing the job was a blessing in disguise, a door closing so a better one could open. Here's another inspiring story. A person faced a serious health crisis, a diagnosis that turned their world upside down. Initially, it was a time of fear and uncertainty. But through this difficult journey, they experienced God's presence in new and profound ways. They met supportive people, found strength they didn't know they had, and discovered a deeper purpose in life. They went on to start a support group for others facing similar challenges, turning their pain into a source of hope and encouragement for many. Let's not forget the testimony of a couple struggling with infertility. They prayed for years to have a child. It was a season filled with heartache and unanswered questions. But they held on to their faith. One day, out of the blue, they received a call about adopting a baby who needed a loving home. This unexpected blessing brought immense joy and fulfilled their dream of becoming parents. They realized that God's plans were far greater than they could have imagined. These stories illustrate how God can transform our challenges into blessings. You, too, can trust that your current struggles are part of a bigger plan. God is working behind the scenes, aligning events in ways you cannot see right now. Your story is still being written, and the next chapter could bring the unexpected blessing you've been praying for. Remember, God's ways are higher than our ways, and His timing is perfect. These testimonies are proof that He never leaves us, even in our darkest moments. Stay encouraged and keep trusting Him, for He is at work in your life, preparing you for blessings beyond your wildest dreams.
Living with expectation. Live with expectation. Believe that God has good things in store for you. When you expect God's goodness, you open your heart to receive His blessings. Approach each day with faith, knowing that something wonderful could happen at any moment. Your expectancy is a reflection of your faith in God's promises. Let me share a story with you. There was a farmer who faced a terrible drought. His crops were dying and hope seemed lost. But every morning, he went out to his fields with a watering can, tending to the few plants he had left. Neighbors thought he was foolish, but he believed rain would come. One day, dark clouds gathered, and a heavy rain fell, reviving his crops. His expectancy turned into a blessing. In your life, be like that farmer. Each day, step out with hope and anticipation. God sees your faith, and He responds to it. It might be in small ways, a kind word from a stranger, an unexpected opportunity, or a new idea that sparks joy. These are glimpses of God's hand at work. Think about the story of the Israelites in the desert. They wandered for forty years, yet each day, God provided manna from heaven. They had to expect and trust that God would meet their needs daily. Living with expectation means trusting God's provision and timing, even when you can't see the whole picture. Make a habit of looking for God's blessings. Start a gratitude journal. Each night, write down three things you're thankful for. This practice will train your mind to recognize and expect God's goodness. It changes your outlook from one of doubt to one of hope. Remember, God loves to surprise His children with blessings. Just as a parent delights in giving gifts to their child, God takes joy in showering you with unexpected blessings. When you live with expectation, you're ready to receive these gifts with an open heart. So, every morning, say to yourself, Today is a new day. God is at work. I expect His goodness and blessings. This mindset will not only uplift your spirit, but also draw you closer to God's amazing plans for your life. Today, make a conscious decision to replace worry with trust. When anxiety creeps in, turn it into a prayer. Reflect on God's past faithfulness and anticipate His future blessings. Share this message with someone who needs encouragement. Together, let's build a community of faith and trust in God's promises. In closing, remember this. God is always at work in your life. He is aligning everything for your good. Trust Him, embrace gratitude, and live with expectation. You are on the brink of unexpected blessings. As we close, let's join together in a heartfelt prayer, trusting in God's work and His promises to bless us unexpectedly. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, acknowledging your greatness and your unfailing love. Lord, we thank you for the assurance that you are always at work in our lives, even when we cannot see it. We ask for your peace to replace our worries and anxieties. Help us to trust in your perfect timing and your divine plan. Father, we surrender our fears and doubts to you. Teach us to bring every concern to you in prayer, knowing that you care deeply for us. Fill our hearts with your peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding and guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Remind us daily of your past faithfulness so we can have confidence in your future blessings. Lord, we thank you for the unexpected blessings you have in store for us. Open our eyes to see your hand at work in the midst of our trials. Help us to embrace a heart of gratitude, recognizing even the smallest blessings and giving you thanks in all circumstances. May our lives be a testimony of your goodness and your grace. Father, we lift up those who are struggling today. For those who feel burdened by worry and fear, grant them your comfort and reassurance. For those waiting for breakthroughs, Give them patience and unwavering faith in your promises. Let them know that you are with them, working behind the scenes to bring about good. As we go forth, help us to live with expectation, 
trusting that you have great things in store for us. Guide our steps and lead us into the blessings you have prepared. We love you, Lord, and we put our complete trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. If this message has resonated with you today, consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay connected to more uplifting messages that remind you of God's faithfulness and encourage you through life's challenges. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Share this video with friends and family who may need to hear about God's promise of unexpected blessings. Together, let's spread hope and faith to everyone around us. Thank you for being part of our community.